Territory, the land of the Ashnabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota, and Dene people, also the homeland for the uh, Metis First Nation. Thank you. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to introduce uh, Lucy to everyone at her confirmation ceremony and welcome you to the center. It's uh, truly an honor and a privilege. Uh, first, uh, just uh, some short introductions. Uh, we have the Council General of Japan in Calgary, Mr. Kishida. Uh, we have the honoree, of course, uh, Ms. Lucy Kumiko Yamashita, also known as Lucy. <laughs> uh, the Council, uh, Mr. Riki uh, Kishimoto, who will also act as our MC tonight. I'd also like to welcome all the friends, the family, and the members uh, to the center tonight uh, for this very, very prestigious award. Uh, the Order of the Rising Sun, gold and silver rays, which will be presented to one of our very own. And as I sat back the other night and reflected and thought about who in our membership would be, you know, uh, you know, deserving of such an incredible award, I couldn't think of anyone else other than Lucy. She truly has uh, accomplished uh, herself for years. She's known not only locally, but nationally for all of her efforts to promote Japanese Canadian culture and heritage. So Lucy, congratulations from the Japanese Cultural Association in Manitoba. So with no further ado, welcome everyone and present for him back to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to ask that agent, please write for the Japanese and Italian account. After that, after those COVID-19 documents, please refrain from bringing the value.
Thank you very much, everyone. Please be seated. Now we will begin with the Congress Lottery address from Congress General Ichida Sakuma, followed by Compliment of the Order. I'd like to ask Congress General Ichida to come up to the podium and check Congress Lottery address, please. So, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, thank you very much for coming to this uh, hearing of events. Um, I've just arrived from Calgary uh, this afternoon, and uh, this is my very first visit to Winnipeg, Manitoba, uh, since I took the position as the Consul General of Japan in Calgary last week. I was always thinking to uh, realize my visits to my and Winnipeg, uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, as you know, yes, uh, the pandemic, uh, I uh, must refrain from outings and person meetings and so on. So, but now I'm very happy to realize, to be able to realize this visit. Uh, to Winnipeg, Manitoba. And uh, especially, I'm very uh, delighted uh, to be with because I can start my visit with this very happy event. Uh, I'm very much uh, sorry and uh, I'm also pleased to have this opportunity to uh, confer or decoration of all the rising sun to this beautiful, beauty and uh, Stefan today, uh, together with you. And um, I came to Canada, I come to, I came to Calgary last spring, and uh, so this is only uh, seven months since my arrival. So uh, I'm working in Canada, but I'm very happy to confer uh, this preparation to Lady, uh, but uh, this is not from you know myself, but this is on behalf of the Japanese government and also my predecessor and predecessor predecessor. They are very much appreciate her contribution and achievement uh, for this decoration. And I read about uh, this all the documents uh, which is saying about. Uh, and uh, activity. And I just thought that it's a really natural and she deserves absolutely to be decorated. And uh, so that's why I'm very happy to be here for this opportunity. And uh, maybe you, you know more about this lady, uh, uh, more than I know. So I don't have to explain how she is, she has been so energetic and active uh, in this you know, organization. But um, I, when I read all the documents and uh, records, I was very impressed by her really active uh, contribution to the first uh, promotion of Japanese culture uh, in the city and in this province and create the friendship between Japanese and Japanese Canadian, and also uh, the local people here. And not only the, the kind of software, but also the hardware and the facilities. During her time, uh, the facilities become very uh, more effective 
and she organized more attractive classes, including uh, calligraphy and uh, kendo and karate and so on and so forth. So that is a tremendous uh, contribution for the promotion of the friendship between Japan and the later Japan and Mariko. And also, secondly, I was really impressed that she was so eager to integrate uh, the Japanese community to be a bridge connecting different kind of generation. I suppose that uh, I think uh, newly arrived Japanese, also new, uh, new Canadian, Japanese Canadians starting living here in Winnipeg. Maybe they face some kind of some challenges in the start of their life here. But she was so kind enough to support and help the person to be integrated uh, to this uh, Winnipeg city and Manitoba province. And also, uh, she was so uh, energetic to have a really harmonious relation with other groups. I learned that. Winnipeg and Maidua is a really famous as a city and a province of diversity, which I'd love to explore these things when I'm here to meet many people. Uh, I'd like to know the secret and background and these kind of things. And um, I know that this uh, Winnipeg is very famous for folklore, it's a dance. I'm very interested because I studied cultural anthropology before I came into the event. I'm really interested in this event, so I'm very hard. I'm looking forward uh, to the chance to this event. And I think that this is really important to have a harmonious relation with other people in the city and in the province. And she played a very constructive role in this area. And also, finally, uh, I was very impressed of this uh, Winnipeg Setagaya world and Tokyo relation. Uh, it was amazing to see that this relation has lasted over 50 years. And uh, I'm very happy that uh, the city of Winnipeg is so eager to maintain and keep the friendship. And uh, I think the has played a very constructive role to keep and enhance this friendship between Tokyo and Winnipeg. And uh, of course, you know, I can continue <laughs> on and on, but uh, uh, maybe it takes uh, maybe another 30 minutes or so. But I just finished here to really to mention about her achievements and contribution. So I'm really happy and uh, really proud to have to have this role to the school. Of this uh, decoration of the rising sun, uh, golden, and to the way today to very prominent lady, Kumi Kolinsky, the master plan today. So, thank you very much. And uh, I, I'm also very much grateful for your support. And uh, I'm very happy to have this opportunity to see all of you. And I'm very happy that we can celebrate this very happy event together. So thank you very much. Now, uh, we would like to go for main portion of the ceremony, the order and subject for decoration component ceremony. Sprinkle Lucy, huh? If you please come to us. General Ichida will now read aloud the title and compound the award. We jump knee and followed by ink translation. え、日本国天皇は花田国人
久美子、ゆうき、山下、福祉、総交渉を重要する。皇居において、使用を行う。令和2年4月29日、内閣総理大臣、安倍晋三。Now,、uh, we are giving you a translation of that. Okay,、uh, translation is the same. Emperor of Japan, that's Kiara Konka Kong, is Kamikoto Su Yamashita, a citizen of Canada. The order of the rising sun, gold, and silver rains. And when that fell, the emperor of the ocean came, a fifth to his heart, and at the end, imperial court. April 29th, the second year of Rayward. 安倍晋三、三年生When we are wearing this mask, you can see always that when it is. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty good one without that. Yeah, maybe we should.、Uh... Yeah. We like to go for a next open. The introduction by Thomas. こんにちは。<laughs> <laughs> 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 Konnichiwa, President Dr. Kaita, dignitary, friends, and I'm pleased to introduce you to my son on this occasion of the conferment of the prestigious award. For Suzu, then me, Thomas, then <laughs> Akira Bryan, Yoshi Wayne, and the twins, Gary Takashi. Emily Yukiko and Caroline Sueco. Parents of today would be at a loss and crying, trying to raise nine children in a modest home in a working class neighborhood of Winnipeg. But our parents did. Takihiro, nicknamed Ted, had met and married Guy Edna Hamakawa. They were, they were moved to Winnipeg. But built a life here. Our parents worked endlessly to provide for our family. We still took time, usually Saturday evenings, to visit with family and friends in the community. Our parents made time to be involved with the Otera and the Japanese Canadian community. Being just kids, we had no conscious thought to emulate their example. It was only later on that their influence became apparent. Of course, with nine of us kids, there was always some 
let's call it turmoil, <laughs> and also fun times, often humor helps. Humor that we glean from our parents. So some of us carry the humor to the extreme. Not me, of course. <laughs> Others like Brian, Caroline, and the rest of them. One time I got a Christmas present. When I opened it up, there was some blue jeans. Old blue jeans. Old worn blue jeans. My old worn jeans. <laughs> we would joke and tease. Still today, we tease Lucy on different things. And even she jokes about this one. She says she has to shop at the kids department for clothes because her arms are too short. <laughs> well, despite having short arms, Lucy often is the first to raise her short arms to volunteer to take on a task or project. Maybe a short task. <laughs> As we grew up, we embraced being Canadian. And in addition, our parents kept us connected to our Japanese heritage. They maintained a very traditional, or rather, let me say, an outlook or attitude from the period of Japan that they were most connected to. We had influences that were Canadian, Japanese Canadian, and our parents were more Japanese Japanese, if that makes any sense. We have grown up in the Canadian environment, but we all add that extra something of a Japanese way of thinking or doing that we caught from our parents. Lucy's dance group often gets the look on her face when they don't quite match her expectation. <laughs> Luckily for them, her siblings have warned her down for such a small misstep and have the good humor to be able to smile about them. This is a glimpse of the family background of Lucy. It is similar to many here in the Manitoba Japanese Canadian community. Lucy went on through school, acted in student activities, in sports, in music, she graduated university and had a career in, as an educator, teaching at both Churchill and St. John's High School. On a construction project, a worker from the city noted my name and told me he had a teacher at St. John's named Miss Yamashita. She wanted Lucy to know that he had changed from the bad character he was <laughs> in high school. At a pub where they had live bands, a friend introduced me to the young lady who was the lead singer. When I asked her where she began her singing, it was at St. John's. The lady told me Lucy had been her teacher in the performing arts. Lucy's reach extended overseas in Lesotho in Africa. I met a young fellow also from Winnipeg, small world. He grew up in the area of Churchill High School. When I said my teacher had taught there, immediately he blurted out Miss Yamashita. In each of these encounters, he cried and respect for Lucy. Continuing to add to her own learning, Lucy went to a university in Hawaii to learn more of Japanese language and culture. By now, I know you're all thinking, he's still talking. <laughs> I question what it is that made Lucy stand out and be successful in the role she took on. It was not her towering stature. Now, despite her short stature, Lucy may not not only showed up, she stepped up to do that work, whatever was necessary. Someone recently said, because Lucy leads by example and treats others well, many are willing to help her accomplish the goal she undertakes. People around her volunteer to support her because of who she is, not by her title, but by her character. I have no idea what motivates Lucy to do what she does. Perhaps the influences along the way feed her drive. Perhaps what I outlined here might explain how she accomplished so much in the achievement regarding this award. The Order of the Rising Sun, Gold and Silver Rays states, the recipient vice president. Lucy has been an evaluator with a 
Japanese language speech content and has assisted in the JET program interviews. She also teaches Bojori or Jap, excuse me, Japanese dance, sings with the karaoke group. I was going to say I auditioned in front of Lucy, but she referred me to a club in Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Moreover, Lucy remains connected to many members of the Japanese community on an individual basis. She picks up the delicious dental Mr. Ono makes here from the center and delivers them to two senior lady members of our community who are sheltered in a senior's complex, just so they may enjoy the treat of Japanese food. For the second criteria, Lucy has been key in coordinating the visit between the city of Winnipeg and the sister city in Japan, Sekagaya. She helped to plan, set up, and guide the visits by the mayors and council of the respective cities. Former Glenn Murray even invited Lucy to be a member of the Winnipeg delegation to Setagaya on the 30th anniversary of the Sister City Agreement. Lucy's name must be well known, possibly feared, in the administrations of both the city of Winnipeg and the city of Setagaya. Lucy has helped set up numerous events between groups from Japan and from people here, like a concert with a choir from Setagaya and the Bison Men's Choir, a center welcoming visit to the center by groups from Japan, a group going to Northern Ontario for Canadian winter experience, school groups from Japan visiting Winnipeg School, the Center of University of Winnipeg jointly held sessions on Japanese culture at the center. Lucy was an organizer of the Japan Public School Program, where grade four school groups came from public schools to the center and were introduced to aspects of Japanese culture, origami, odori, language, even a kendo demonstration. Our MC for Kendall was talking long, and Lucy was concerned that school group would be late for their bus. So she started signaling, waving, telling them time was up, telling them to cut it off, which she finally did. But she also turned the lights off and on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, it's one of you start clicking the lights off and on. <laughs> I get the message, but I'm almost done. <laughs> Lucy not only promotes friendship and goodwill between Japan and Canada, but also has developed intercultural relations. She has been the cultural center representative to the board of Manitoba Intercon Intercultural Council. She has participated at events and conferences with the Korean Women's Organization and with the Philippine, Filipino Organization and the Chinese Organization. So actively sharing Japanese culture with other Canadian cultural organizations. Lucy has shown she is no stranger to work, taking on responsibility, working alongside others to accomplish goals sharing opportunities to showcase and promote our Japanese heritage here, sharing Canadian culture with those arriving from Japan. Lucy has been quite successful in blending and balancing the culture of Japan and Canada. I appreciate and thank, on behalf of my family, the government of Japan for recognizing the contributions of Lucy and her work within the Japanese and Japanese Canadian community here, and for bestowing or conferring upon her the order of the rising sun, gold and silver rays. Thank you very much. I don't really like to uh, introduce Perfa uh, Oye, oh, yeah, who is in the night. Thank you, Thomas. For, oh, I guess I can take this off. Oh. Thank you, Thomas, for the uh, wonderful introduction. 
And I do have to say that I really don't have to say anything because Thomas said it all for me. Um, I'm very honored to have been asked by Lucy to uh, speak about some personal experiences I've had with Lucy over the years. Um, and I, what, what I do want to say is I'm pretty sure that Lucy's promotion of a strong relationship between Japan and Winnipeg and her longtime efforts in following traditional Japanese um, uh, customs and, and trying to get me to understand some of those traditional Japanese customs has been appreciated by both Japan, uh, Winnipeg, and uh, Manitoba in general. Uh, I have a feeling that Lucy's name has been passed along every time there's been a change in government, whether it's uh, municipal or provincial. And I'm sure they have her name on a Rolodex. And in case you're not sure what a Rolodex is, it's a, a card file with people's names on it or on a speed dial. And they're always calling upon Lucy to, to give a hand with arranging their uh, visits from Japan to Japan. And um, as well, I believe that the Consul General's office in Calgary has her name as well, because they know that she's the go-to person. They know that if they call upon Lucy to arrange something, it will be done. And it will be done according to um, proper Japanese protocol and to a warm Winnipeg welcome. Because I was on the board, um, several boards, as a matter of fact, and in several commu uh, committees with Lucy, I was very lucky to have been invited to several occasions when there's been visitors from Japan. Um, I have to say that I, I think that I'm kind of a nice person, personable, and, and quite polite, but I have to admit that I'm not really that knowledgeable in traditional Japanese customs. But I, I know that, and I knew that I still know that I could count on Lucy to, to help me along. And she's very good, and I think that Thomas alluded to it. She's got this look that she is very free to share, <laughs> with me especially, I think. <laughs> so I could count on her to give me a visual cue of some sort that I'm sort of straying off the path and to bring me back in line. So, um, yeah, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who's benefited from her, her help. And like I said, Lucy's very knowledgeable in Japanese heritage and culture. My longtime friendship with Lucy, outside of board meetings and committees, has been centered around the Aurora Dance Group. Lucy began this group in 1998 in part because of the need of local talent, talent for Folklorama, but for more importantly, to bring together young people, both male and female, to uh, introduce them to the art of Japanese Odori. This group is still active today, and while some of us are not that young anymore, we continue to practice Odori because of Lucy. With Lucy at the helm, Aurora has become fairly well known here in Winnipeg and in Western Canada. Lucy has always encouraged us to perform outside of our Japanese community. And we have performed at several unexpected venues such as the Manitoba Museum, outdoors at the Forks, and at ICON, which is a Japanese anime and pop, cult pop culture convention. Now, I never would have thought we'd be performing there. And Thomas mentioned a bunch of other places that uh, we've performed over the years that I'd forgotten about. So thank you for the reminder. Lucy's always looking for opportunities to showcase Japanese culture to Winnipeg and beyond. Because of Lucy's dedication and reputation, Aurora was invited to perform at the first Regina Matsuri in 2018 and to participate at the first Calgary Minyo workshop in 2019. Lucy has taught the group more than just the words. She made sure that we learned the cultural details of a certain dance, how to dress in kimono, and even how to behave in kimono. So some of the members of Aurora 
are dressed in a kimono today. And now, well, it's been at least two years since we had a kimono on. We did have to have some help from Cindy and from Megan, of which we appreciated because we kind of forgot. Uh, we didn't want to ask Lucy because normally Lucy in the dress with us, but uh, since she's a guest of honor, we didn't really want her to work. But Lucy did fix a few things on her, so well, thank you, Lucy. <laughs> Uh, we are with her today and still in Aurora because of our, our appreciation of Lucy's leadership and mentorship. We may try her patience, but we always have her back and she always has us. As former Deputy Consul Kohei Sakamoto said of Lucy, she reminded him of a grandmother <laughs> because she has old school manners and politeness. Now, I know that Mr. Sakamoto meant this as a compliment, but I have to admit, I laughed and laughed when Lucy Ted said that to me. But I know exactly what Mr. Sakamoto meant, and Lucy has certainly proved that she is more than deserving of the Rising Sun Gold and Silver Rays Award. Thank you. Imagine Kunito uh, Lucy Sun is surrounded by good relationships with brother and friends. And uh, as Mr. Thomas Yamashita mentioned, uh, there's another sister here, uh, Winnipeg and Secretary of City of Tokyo. And now we have received a message. From Mayor of Sakaya City. So let me uh, read the message. Dear Ms. Kumiko Lucy Anasha, it is with great pleasure that I congratulate you on your compliment to the order of the Rising Sun Silver and Gold Race as presented from Emperor Africa. I'd like to send our appreciation to you and your long time contributions. Toward the city, sister cities relationship between Setagaya and Winnipeg. Best wishes for the future. Sincerely yours. Maya Nobuko Osaka, City of Setagaya. Now, I'd like to once again invite Kumiko <coughs> Lucy Yamasha san to the stage. To build our two words, if you please. Good afternoon, Consul General Chida, Consul Kishimoto, Dr. Kelly Kaita, family and friends. I was truly humbled to be awarded this honor. It was stated that the award was for my work contributing to. Japanese society in Canada and for promoting friendship and goodwill relations between Canada and Japan. But I've always felt that one person alone cannot accomplish as much as a whole group of people. I feel that I am accepting this award on behalf of all of the great network of people who, over the years, have supported and contributed time and talent to work with me on any projects that I have undertaken. It has been this support and these friendships that have enabled me to accomplish anything here in Winnipeg and across Canada. I am truly grateful to all of the people who have assisted in maintaining a strong and vibrant community and in sharing and contributing and celebrating our heritage with all Canadians, as well as helping to foster the very important relationship with Japan and especially with Winnipeg's sister city, Senegal. I am so very honored to receive this award. Please know that all of you share in this award as well. Thank you very much. So before handing to the reception portion, we will like to get some commemorative field photos. And normally we'll all gather close together for a single photo. However, to have 
prevent the spread of COVID 19. We like to ask each level to come to the front for hotel, lab, man, and physical distancing. Thank you, everyone, for your cooperation.